What's up guys, Slaughterfist back here with another video, this time we're doing another Skyrim build. This build I'm calling the Dragon King build, I was gonna call it Ultimate Dragonborn, but I think Dragon King sounds cooler. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off with the weapons, because you guys are probably the most curious about uh, this little guy. Um, this is the Giants Club. Um, you normally can't get this. All the videos I've seen, um, say it's only, you can only get it through console commands. I honestly was playing the other day and killed a giant and he just dropped this and I was able to pick it up. Um, when I look it up, nothing says anything about that or like that that's supposed to be possible. Uh, maybe I have some mod that like also does that but like I don't I don't have a mod for that I don't think um, but yeah I just killed a giant and was able to pick this up off of him one time but uh, I don't know uh, maybe normally I don't know yeah I don't know but yeah so this is the Giants Club uh, doesn't actually do like a ton of damage if we're being honest only 90 damage but um, I enchanted it so uh, it uh, d absorbs 22 points of health and does the uh, chaos enchantment for 28 points of each fire, frost, and shock. Um, it looks dope. It's giant. Uh, when you hold it, it's fucking huge. I don't know if it actually has like a longer like hit radius than other... Uh, Warhammers. I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah. And then for apparel, I have the Dragon Plate Armor paired with the Jagged Crown. So the Jagged Crown you, uh, get through, uh, the main, like, Stormcloak, like, War quest line, uh, Stormcloaks or Imperials quest line. Uh, and you have to give it up to continue the quest line, but if you just don't ever, like, finish that quest, you can just keep it. It looks dope, it's heavy armor. It's not like the best protection in the game, but it's pretty good, I'd say. Um, I think it looks awesome. Like, I don't really know why they made like made this super cool looking thing, like something you have to give up after a quest. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Looks super awesome. And it looks dope with the uh, dragon armor. And that's kind of where I got the whole idea for a build called like, you know, Dragon King. Cause this kind of looks like it was made for, you know, each other and it's, uh, you know dragon themed and kingly it's a crown um so yeah 100 armor rating magic can regenerate 70 percent faster restoration spells cost 28 percent less to cast i enchanted this this does not come with that and then of course i enchanted my armor as well for the jewelry i have a gold diamond ring that increases heavy armor skill by 28 points and two-handed attacks do 45 percent more damage for the gold diamond necklace, I have two-handed attacks do 45% more damage, increases heavy armor skill by 28 points. Uh, the dragon plate gauntlets have an armor rating of 158, increases heavy armor skill by 28 points, two-handed attacks do 45% more damage. Dragon plate boots also have a uh, armor rating of 158, two-handed attacks do 45% more damage, increases your stamina by 70 points. And Dragon Plate Armor increases your health by 70 points, health regenerates 35% faster. So I basically just want, you know, more damage, more health, and some more stamina as well. So I can do more heavy attacks. Because, uh, you know, the more stamina, the better. Because, you know, this guy has a decent amount of stamina, but, you know, I can't just, like, spam these. Like, I will run out of stamina. So for two-handed, I just maxed it out, uh, Barbarian all the way, so they do twice as much damage. Skull Crusher, so Warhammers ignore 75% of armor. Champion Stance, so Power Attacks cost 25% less stamina. Uh, new Double Critical Power Attack, Devastating Blow, 25% uh, bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. Sweep sideways power attack with two-handed uh, weapons hits all targets in front of you, and then backwards power attacks have a 25% chance to paralyze the target. And of course we put some uh, points into heavy armor as well, maxed out juggernaut, so arm armor rating is increased by 100%, well fitted, so there's a 25% bonus of wearing all uh, heavy armor. 
Tower of Strength, 50% less stagger. Matching set, I actually don't have a matching set on because I have the uh, Jagged Crown instead of the Dragon Helmet. Um, but I wanted to get Reflect Blows, 10% chance to reflect melee damage back onto the enemy while wearing all heavy armor. Alright, what's up guys? We're here at an Imperial camp just to test it out on some low level opponents Agents at first. So that was a one hit. Um, absorbed some of his health. So these are fairly low level opponents, but let's just test the build out on them. So it looks like it's a two hit of normal strikes. Three hit if you're going to do a power attack. Yeah, if they block it, it's still a two hit. I didn't know this camp had a high elf captain. That's kind of cool. That's interesting. So it sounds like it might have a different uh, sound. Like the uh, y'all hear that? That I think that's a different sound when you use the uh, club, which is interesting. Um, you can't kill the uh, captain, sadly. But, um, yeah, so that was it on some low-level opponents. Let's go test it out on some higher-level opponents. Alright, guys, let's test this build out on, on some giants, you know. Meet fire with fire. Um, you know, plus a giant. Okay, so, oh, shit, okay. So this is a more fair fight. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. But I'm still about to take it there. Oh shit, there's a second one. Oh shit. What's up, fucker? Oh fuck, okay. Alright, now let's get this guy. So yeah, it definitely, like, his build is, will, you know, carve right through low level opponents and can definitely hold up well against higher level opponents. See, look right there, I can take Giant Club. So like I don't know I don't have any mods for like to be able to do this so I don't know what the deal with that is, but it's allowing me to pick up Giants Club when I kill Giants so uh, that's pretty weird um, but yeah so that's probably gonna do it for this build or th this video guys let me know what you think of this build in the comments um, yeah uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, yeah.